One of Walton County's natural signatures are the 15 rare and imperiled coastal dune lakes. There is a renewed interest and concern about the coastal dune lakes. This program is a demo of an ongoing educational series about the dune lakes. And here's a sample of the people you'll meet and the places featured. What can we do to help protect the coastal dune lakes and make sure that the delicate ecosystem balance is maintained? And so you've got to look at the lakes as a big picture. And the big picture includes the entire watershed of the lakes, the drainage basin, the fresh streams that feed into many of the lakes, the outfalls. Protecting the lakes, involvement with the lakes is, is a good example of where it's very important that individuals who live within the entire ecosystem, you know, develop a sense of, you know, stewardship for something that they care very much about. And a lot of it is telling people what they as individuals can do to help protect the lakes. It has a country feel to it. It's very family friendly. Um, my girls were immediately interested in what's happening out here. We can take them out on the paddle boards and, and quietly show them all kinds of things that are happening that they would otherwise miss. I grew up on these lakes, swimming, floundering, uh, boating, uh, Western Lake, where we are now, Eastern Lake, uh, Deer Lake. My family used to go camping on Deer Lake every summer. And traveling around with the Navy, I had the opportunity to see lots of sites, but never anything like our lakes here. Well, I know I just like to come and just and have these really, really awesome outdoor experiences. I mean, you really can't find this kind of thing hardly anywhere else in the world. And it just blows my mind every time that I come to Walton County and the whole Gulf, Gulf Coast region that you can come and have these kind of experiences. You can camp very close to the beach. You can see the coastal dune lakes and it's just incredible. I mean, coastal dune lakes are the most unique aspect of our natural environment. Uh, and the beauty of it is that not only are they unique and pristine, but they are open to the public in the sense that Scenic 30A runs right through most of them. And even those that aren't right here on 30A are accessible in our state parks with trails. So they're not some hidden gem, they're an open gem, which is a challenge because the more interaction there is between us and the lakes, the more issues that might arise. But they are probably the most uh, interesting, unique, beautiful aspect of why Walton is a unique county. I was out here as a child, a single digit midget as we called it, and um, there was a YMCA camp on Oyster Lake in the 60s. And at the time we used to water ski on that lake, so it was much deeper than it is now. And we would um, have horses and motorcycles on all the pig trails. There wasn't very many roads out here, but it was just a beautiful place, pristine, hardly any houses. It was just beautiful. Uh, driving along 38 went down to Grayton Beach. I uh, went along, drove open that open area there on uh, Western Lake there, and just your, <laughs> your kind of heart kind of stops, you know. You say, holy smokes, I've never seen anything like this before. And then there's another one, then there's another one, you know, as you go along. And you're just, it's overwhelming. I had to stop and got out, went and walked around the lake, went back around, drove into the park. Uh, went over to the dunes, you know, and went down it to the beach and back to the lakes. I find that South Walton has much to explore. It's more than just the beach. We have tremendous lake systems here. The trails throughout the state forest are incredible. About 40% of the land here is tied up in the state forest or state parks. And there is lots to explore here. We all are busy in our lives, our work lives, and we put so much investment into our jobs. And when we do that, we pull away from our attachment to the earth, our connection to everything that's important around us. Well, as photography is, a lot of it is very spontaneous. A lot of the pictures I capture sometimes I have to stop and thankfully have my camera with me and stop and not have an image planned. But uh, there was an image that I was coming back from shooting in Alice Beach one evening, one late evening, and I was crossing Camp Creek Lake, and the sun was setting right behind the pedestrian bridge in Water Sound. And uh, I stopped there immediately and took probably five or six images. Two or three came out really spectacular, and um, that was one of them. Thanks, and there'll be more stories real soon.